Hi, I'm Ben Canning, and this lecture is on speed versus velocity, as well as distance versus displacement. Per usual, you need three or more bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and if there are any follow-up questions on Google Forms, you need to take care of those as well. Or if they're elsewhere, take care of them there. Before we get into talking about speed and how fast things are going, let's talk about how far we went or how far something went, because speed is obviously going to be based on distance to some degree. So let's imagine a scenario where you start at home and you end up at an ice cream shop and you went ahead and you walked this way and then this way and that was a total of 2.5 miles that you walked. Now if we looked at just how far it is from your house to the ice cream shop directly, that length is 1.5 miles. So the question is, how far did you go? Or how far away are you from home? And really, it just depends on what type of distance or uh, length you want to describe. So if you wanted to focus on what your actual path was, ignoring any direction, so counting every single step along the way, then it would be 2.5 miles. But if you just wanted to know how far are you from start to finish, or kind of uh, a radial distance of sorts, then that would just be 1.5 miles. And we have different names for both of those things. So let's start with that 2.5 mile path. That 2.5 mile path, um, every step along the way counts, and we call this distance. So distance is the total length traveled regardless of direction. I like to think of it as every step counts. So if you do a little detour, all of that counts. Displacement, on the other hand, is the shortest distance from start to finish, regardless of what path was actually taken. So we don't actually care if you meandered about and went in circles 10 times and then ended up over here. What matters is where did you start, where did you finish, and what is the shortest length from start to finish. And it includes direction in this case. So officially it's distance in a specific direction or a change in position in a specific direction. So let's compare those two terms real fast. Distance is usually just a number with units. Displacement is going to be a number with a direction as well. In distance, every step counts. The direction doesn't matter, hence why we don't report it. In displacement, the shortest length from start to finish, regardless of the actual path taken, is what counts or what we focus on. So if you have uh, some like steps where you go one way and then go back and kind of undo it, we don't actually count those. We, we say basically just undid it of sorts. So we're going to use those two things to help us talk about speed and velocity now. So the technical definition of speed is the rate of distance per unit time. So we can already start to think about, oh, speed's probably not going to factor in direction since it's based on distance and not on displacement. Now that definition of rate of distance per unit time actually means something mathematically. It just means you have distance, you have a division symbol or a fraction that's a rate essentially, and then per just tells you what is on the bottom or the denominator. So here it's going to be per time. And so that's our equation for speed in this case. So the equation for speed is distance divided by time. We represent that with the variables d and t for distance and time. And strangely enough, we actually use v for the variable for speed. And I know it might be like, but isn't v for velocity? Yeah, but velocity and speed end up being so similar and related to each other that we often just use the same equation v equals d over t for both of them so that we don't have to have two separate equations. Um, so variable for speed is V, units are meters per second, that's ms to the negative one or m slash s, um, and that's how we calculate speed. So let's talk about velocity. Velocity, the technical definition, looks very similar to speed, but notice here we're using displacement. So it's the rate of displacement per unit time. In other words, how far did you go each second? Uh, now, remember that direction matters with it, so displacement carries with it a little bit of a different meaning than just typical distance, um, but we can still use that same uh, idea of blank per blank to develop our formula for it, where it's displacement per time. And so the equation ends up being V equals D over T, where this time V stands for velocity and D stands for displacement. Um, don't forget to include the direction when you report out this, uh, the answer to this. Um, so you'd want to say like 10 meters north or 10 meters per second north or 22 miles per an hour south. Um, the units will still be meters per second. Those are typical units in physics. However, you can also use kilometers per an hour or any other length per time. 
So let's recap that real fast. Speed is going to be just a number with units, so like 2.5 meters per second. Velocity is going to be a number uh, with units plus a direction, um, so 2.5 meters per second north, for example. Speed is going to be based on distance, so every step or every uh, foot or whatever counts. Velocity is going to be based on displacement, so all we care about is the length from start to finish. Kind of averages out any detours and things like that. Uh, speed will always be positive for that matter because we don't really need to show the direction. Uh, velocity, however, will be positive or negative to represent direction. So if positive is to the right, then negative is going to be to the left um, and vice versa. Or if positive is up, negative will be down. But you can always define it how you want. So let's imagine another scenario real fast just to help us kind of really clarify the difference between the two. So speed, if the direction doesn't matter, then what I want you to imagine is if we have a hundred miles an hour, a car going a hundred miles an hour around a track, it's going a hundred miles an hour this way at point A and a hundred miles an hour this way at point B, what's the same? Is the speed the same or is it the velocity the same? And what state or what changes? Is it the speed that changes or the velocity that changes? So think about it for a second. All right, so hopefully you realize that if speed direction doesn't matter, that's why we call uh, the the speed thing in a car a speedometer. Um, we, we don't really care what direction we're going, we just care how fast are we going. And so here the car is actually going a constant speed around the track. Um, however, since the direction is changing, we actually get that the velocity is changing even though the speed isn't. So for velocity changes, it can be a change in the value or a change in the direction. Both of those count as a change in velocity. So here it would be a velocity of 100 miles per hour, either east or positive. And here it would be negative 100 miles an hour or uh, 100 miles an hour west or um, something along those lines. Hopefully that helps clarify the difference between speed and velocity as well as distance and displacement. Remember, three or more bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and please do any follow-up questions that are available on Google Form or elsewhere.